Okay, Mike, so we've looked at a couple of features of this uh, DSO. Now, I know a lot of signals are coming through from customers that are might be digital in some way, say I2C or SPI. Can this scope help us out there? Yeah, this scope, uh, really all our scopes in the UltraVision family have a wide variety of sort of serial decoding capabilities. Okay. So here we're going to do some, we've got R232, I2C, SPI are all very popular. Um, some of the scopes have CAN and LIN capabilities as well and some FlexRay. So really a pretty wide set of, of kind of this level of serial decode capability. And today we're going to look a little bit at an I2C bus. Okay, let's do it. All right, so we've got a uh, test board here with some I2C that we want to debug and take a look at. Um, we've got channel one into the clock and channel two going into the I squared C data. And we're really in a default setting on the scope. So when I'm in default, the first thing I like to do is hit the auto button. <laughs> so that, that brings both of our channels up nicely on the screen. We probably don't need this fell in here right now. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and pick us a good time base that we think is going to work for this kind of work. Now, first thing I like to do is change the trigger. So there's really two keys to setting up decode. One is triggering on it properly, okay. and then one is actually decoding the data. Okay. So let's set up the trigger first. So here in the trigger mode, we've got a bunch of options, including I squared C trigger. So channel one is clock, channel two is data. We're going to trigger on a start there. Let's move that over to the left side of the screen. Perfect. Now I like to go into normal mode, so I know I'm catching live data whenever possible. And that should be good on the trigger. So we're, we're triggering well now. Now the question is, what's, what's, what's really happening on that bus? What's that data we're looking at? Okay, yeah, definitely. So now that's where these two buttons here come into play, these decode buttons. So we're going to use decode one. Decode one, and then we're going to set it up to decode an I2C bus. All right, so that bus is on now, but it still doesn't quite know what we want from it. So we have to set the, the really trigger level on the clock data about halfway through the wave and the trigger on the data frame as well. Now we're seeing some data come up on the screen. Excellent. Now what is that data? It's a good question because it's all in hacks <laughs> right now. But this scope can do a couple things for us. It can uh, change that format hex, decimal, binary, or ASCII. Let's see what this data looks like in ASCII. And now we can see that the data coming off the bus uh, on, on the good frame certainly is, uh, is saying Regal. So R-I-G-O-L is the, is the data set. How convenient. Off. Indeed. So that, this must be one of our boards then. <laughs> but yeah, so we're getting, we're getting that data off. We're getting a number of triggers per second here. Um, so what do, what do we really want to do? But just like we have it set to, there's, there's some errors occasionally on the, okay. on the I squared C. So sometimes it's, it's not closing the, uh, the packets correctly. Sometimes it's doing a couple other things. So we might want to go ahead into the event table to check that out. So here we can capture a number of events, number of captures in the event table. If we needed to, we could look at you know, much, much wider pieces of time and catch a whole bunch of events. Okay, so now I've got a good listing of them in the events table. Now we've got a, a sequence of events we can look at in that table. And then we could, of course, export that table over to our memory stick or export it off to uh, uh, over the bus to get it out at uh, the PC for some further analysis. Figure out where our serial connection is going wrong. Yeah, indeed. So that's really how we look at and some basic serial data uh, with a scope like this, really from a debug perspective and trying to uh, learn more about the signals we're looking at. Cool. Thank you, Chris. Thanks.